Yes, yeah, good to catch up with you because I haven't actually seen you for, for a while. Actually, since your uh, southern area win. Did we do interview for that? No, we didn't. Kind of, oh. I didn't go to it. Oh, I'll be so, kidding. Yeah, no, um, it, so it'd be good to kind of talk about that. that that's yeah, a yeah. really, really good world fight on paper, Swindon. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk me through that. So, uh, yeah, went up to Swindon to box uh, Sam Smith. Tough that fight. Good experience. Yeah, 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 good experience. Good in the amateurs. Did, did he fight in your old boxer? Boxing all, yeah, yeah, all my boxes. Well, he lost to that um, Shaq and Pe no, Piers, no, Shaq and Piers, that the six foot, yeah, yeah, mad tall. Lost to him, then um, I think that was the last fight before he boxed me. So um, yeah, it was for the southern area, ten rounds in his area in Swindon. Yeah. So. Because obviously, apart from that, you've you've had like four and six rounds. Yeah. Um, four and six. So I moved up to ten. Yeah. So literally. Um, it was good, but obviously I didn't get the 10 rounds in, but it got up to fourth and the corner stopped it for Sam Smith. Yeah, so fourth, fourth round, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so was it, um, when you got the call to kind of, you know, you, you know, you, you fight for the same area, how did that feel like? It was good, because I boxed uh, that two months, two, three months before, so literally... Your call, wasn't it? Yeah, your call, yeah. and then that was the sixth round, but and I did stopped you it. Him out, yeah, you? second round oh, stoppage, that, and then... Got a call for another fight for the Southern area, so I was like on it straight away. I was like, yeah, I'll take that fight. Didn't really have a break between my last one. Just carried on camp, trained. I was super fit for that fight. I was like, there's no way he's beating me. I was too fit. I'm too strong. I'm strong for him. Was it, was it kind of coming out of blue, the, the call for the Southern area? Or was that something that you were... That's something I was aiming for anyway. So literally got a call for it. I think he was supposed to, was supposed to box... Um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, our man's gone blank. Oh man. It's like in the country, I need to look on Google something. <laughs> but he was supposed to box someone else and then uh, pulled out with injury, back injury, then got a call saying it was a fight for the Southern Air, so we took it. Yeah. Fight we could. It was going to be a tough fight, of course, because Sam's was good and that. But so that was your first real test, really? Yeah, exactly. You so had, it's like. Uh, your fights before that, but you know, you're journeyman, I suppose, but then you know, you're not. Got the last guy out. And yeah. Did you feel it was a massive jump? Obviously, it wasn't because you won, but at the time, were you like, oh, you know, this is quite. Yeah, but it was something I was aiming for anyway, so I was kind of prepared for it. That's what we wanted. That's what I want tough fights, one better opponent. So that's what we were aiming for. Like, now that we've beat Sam Smith, got some in area, we want bigger fights again, like better opponents. So that's what we aim for. These fights were probably on YouTube anyway online you'd be able to kind of see yeah yeah saw a few bits not a lot didn't really see the ultimate i watched the ultimate boxer but i couldn't like find it again so i didn't really watch much on him but new style he's tall range he used to be a light heavyweight he dropped down the weight come down to super middle so he knew he'd be quite bigger he was taller but yeah it was just um i was just stronger than him i feel a bit more fit so i thought i can bring it to him give it to him see how he reacted to it and just kept it on him yeah you know, for the whole Four rounds. It's um, fighting away, so away from home. How was that? I mean, was I enjoyed it? it. I liked it. Yeah, we had fun out there. Like literally, went out there the day before and like Mimic and Adam, just relaxed, chilled. Went out to get food after the weigh-in. Did the weigh-in in the morning. Went out, got a bit of food, relaxed. Went back to the hotel. What was the chill. Venue? Say again. What was the, the venue like? Uh, the venue was good. It was in a it was in a ledger centre, but um, it was set up good, like all lightings and stuff like that. Um, it's not, it's tables. Not that fight, is it? It wasn't filmed. No, it wasn't. Shame. Yeah, yeah, it was a good fight. I wanted it to be filmed, but I don't think they did. Hey. Um, yeah, did they not want it to be filmed? I'm not too sure. I asked for the videos, but I never think. Yeah, I never got anything. I only got a few pictures and stuff like that. Obviously, the title fight you want it filmed, but um, yeah. So what? Um, I'm gonna ask you this after after that what, what how did that feel to kind of the first belt. Good. Like I said, first title. And then um I thought people would be like would like get another number more fights than that, but I haven't really heard much tonight. It's still waiting to get a fight. Adam, he was saying that actually no one wants to fight you. Yeah, so which is what's going on. Kind of a good thing, but at the same point is you know you don't well, when was your was it November? That was in November, yeah. So we're now like not, uh, February that's four yeah, months and you don't really, really heard really much yet yeah, still. So literally, you want to box someone that's better opponent or anyone. Do you consider something like four or six rounds just to kind of keep you active, or do you want to go straight in? I don't. We don't mind. Don't mind. You can keep another fight to stay active, and then hopefully get something after that. Whether that, like, I think that uh, 
Imos Deke and yeah. uh, Cody Davis's box, so I think Imos Deke won that to get that fight. Would you take it? Yeah, of course. Did you watch that fight? Yeah, I watched it. Good, good, yeah, good fight. He's strong, like, um, he's tough, like, they, it was a fast pace, innit, for like, yeah. the first, like, four or five rounds, and I think they a bit gassed out a bit, yeah, and I think then... came kind of strong in Umar, I'd say, like, down the stretch kind of thing, and... So kept it kept it busy and then yeah. overwork, outworked him. I think he was like, he may have been a bit drained because he's quite big and he used to yeah. be like, yeah, heavy or something. And he's got enough like heavy. He's gonna kind of stay at that. Yeah. That way, I don't think he would. He was kind of might have been drained because he used to box like light heavy and then went yeah. down super middle. So. And um, so so Umar Sadiq's obviously one one person that you'd consider. Is that Chelly as well? It's actually yeah. yeah. I mean, it is a sort and of. And on the super of, middleweight, that's you know. Up in, sort of in the rankings, like, yeah, of course. That's what you want, like better opponents, bigger fights, more titles. And you're not aligned to any promoter, person. no. So anyone, anyway. kind of a free spirit. Yeah, it? it's literally anyone on anyone show. We go on their show in any area as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how? how okay, so so you won the title. You can't kind of say can't get a fight, but no one really, really wants to fight you. Mm, what? No. Is that is that mentally? Quite, I don't know what's the word. Um, they're mentally draining that you know you're not kind of you know, you're now the title holder, but you're not getting in. Yeah, cause I thought once I got the title, I think people would be like calling me out for it, but I haven't heard anything, so it's a bit weird. It's a bit strange. Yeah, I heard people like mention their names, but don't, my name doesn't get mentioned, so it's kind of yeah. Funny. It's um, interesting. The board haven't called uh, anyone as a yeah as a mandatory kind of thing. Um, well, hopefully, hopefully you'll get a fight soon. Yeah, hopefully. Um, just a couple of people in your stable. You've got Dan, obviously, fighting an eliminator. Yeah, that's against Dan Collins. That's a good that's little fight. A good fight, yeah. Um, how's, how's Dan coming? Come on, in the Grimson. Very teams? well. He's doing very well. He's very well. He's training a lot down here. Um, he's got like being down this gym as well. Got loads of other fighters like we've got uh, Josh Kelly and things like that all down here. So training along them, it's helping him out a lot. He's got a few doing a bit of sparring with them as well. So he's definitely going to be ready for that fight, like more than ready. It's a big, big say step up for him, but he's, yeah, you know, he's, he's super talented. And exactly, that's a fight he needs as well. That's because there's only so many probably uh, like gentlemen. I suppose you can uh, fight. I was talking to Luther before. And yeah, he was just kind of like thrown in straight away, and, and he just said he said that was like basically the best ideal situation. You're thrown in a hard fight, so you you learn straight away. Yeah, rather than just kind of like having a. Is he? Yeah, he's so <laughs> um, Yeah, but um, oh shoot, I was saying that. Um, yeah, just being around, coming to this new gym as well, it's like a new thing for everyone. But we all just um, settled in well. Yeah. Obviously, same coach as trainers, so it's not much of like got new trainers or anything. It's just a new environment, and yeah, it's, it's a nice little gym. It's good. Obviously, you can bounce off like having boost boys as well. Exactly, exactly. So them. it's a good thing to be around. Good atmosphere, everyone's friendly, everyone's all welcoming, so it's good. And Lufa as well, uh, we touched upon that briefly. Yeah, yeah. Well, Luf Lufa's obviously. Got another big fight coming as well. Chris Conger. Really, really tough That's fight. That's going to be a tough fight. Both of them just good fighters. Lufa's uh, I can't wait the hard way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. And it's going to be a tough fight because I think Chris Conger hasn't boxed in uh, quite a while yeah, coming up to it, yeah. So it's, that's a good fight for him to come back. So it's gonna be tough for like both of them because he hasn't been. He's super talented, but just hasn't boxed. Yeah, Lisa box regularly. Got a title, so it's it's. In arguing, you say one of the fight of the night. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's a big 50-50 fight, and it's, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be good. How, how do you see that kind of planning out? Right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Both of them like because uh, Congo is a good friend of mine now. Obviously, yeah. Lisa's down here at this gym. It's the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best one winning the night. Yeah, sit on the fence. Yeah, no, I'm not really looking. You get, I take you probably could go to that fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be at all these shows. All these fights are coming up. Yeah. I love it, man. So Fantastic. I'm a fan as well. These fights, so I'm a fan. So watch all the boxing. I'm down at the shows watching them as well. Did you watch Fury fight? Yeah, 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 I watched that. Yeah, sure. That was good, man. Literally, I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think he was gonna do it that like that. <laughs> yeah, so easy. Yeah. When he said he was gonna walk in, and come and like uh, put it on Wilder, I thought it was all talk. But he actually went in and did it. Dropped him in the third. Okay, well you drop him in the fifth as well, the body shot. They had him all over the place, literally. So when he came in done that, he just made a big statement. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen now. I'll probably get a rematch. Don't 
don't know if I want to see that rematch again the third time. Uh, I want to see the one we all want to see, but I don't know if that's it's going to happen. Yeah. Probably like next year. Okay. Yeah, if it does. Um, just, just briefly working with Adam. How's uh, Adam Martin? Obviously, your your coach. Yeah. Um, how 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 well was you know that relationship? You know, it's developed because you've been together since debut. Yeah, since debut we've been together. But I've known Adam since uh, amateurs. He used to um, do all the matchmaking for when I was at uh, Fitzroy Lodge. Mm -hmm. So we knew each other anyway. He lives near me, not far from me. So I know him well. Yeah. Like we get on well. Um, Mick Guilford, we get known from the amateurs as well, so it's not like new faces. We've known these guys since I was young. Trust all jokey, friendly, all good. Yeah, keeps you into shape when you like. Fuck it yeah, yeah, exactly. So they know when to like time to get serious. We get serious and put in the work in the gym. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, well, listen. I know you just kind of been sparring, so I'm sure you want to kind of like hit the sword and stuff. Um, do you want to like? Shout out your social media so people can follow you. And, yeah, uh, so social media on Instagram. It's, my name is G Brown underscore Boxer. Twitter is G Man Boxer 23. And then, see, Facebook is my name in it, Jermaine Brown. Is anyone you want to call out? Um, no, I just literally, I don't know what's going on. Obviously, I want to box um, Uma Sadiq and uh, or Zach Chili, but I think they're box. Obviously, Uma Sadiq just box. I think Zach Chili is boxing for the. English or something. Yeah. Mm. So I'll be the winner of that. Maybe. Anything. That would be a good little fight, wouldn't it? I just want to get the box like just put the box on these guys, man, so let's wait and see. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, well thanks very much for giving me some